I'm going to show you how to operate this Bosch microwave from my perspective. So before we get started, could you give me a thumbs up as well as subscribe? I'll appreciate it tremendously. Now, if you don't want to wait for me to go through every single step on how to operate this microwave, check the description part of the page and I'll leave links to chapters to where you can immediately go parts that you need help with right away. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about is setting the clock. The clock can be set in 12 hour mode. Touch the clock button once, then enter the time using the number keys. All right, so you're going to go down to the number keys and you'll press the numbers and enter the time in accordingly. And then after you've set the time, touch clock to confirm that the time of day will be displayed. The next thing I want to talk about is setting the kitchen timer. You can set timer value of up to 99 minutes and 99 seconds. To do this, touch kitchen timer. It's the kitchen timer symbol uh, that's on the panel right here. The uh, symbol lights up and 000 will be blinking. Enter the desired time using the number keys. Then touch kitchen timer to confirm. The kitchen timer will start counting down. Once the set time has elapsed, four beeps will sound to stop the beep. Touch the kitchen timer. To cancel the kitchen timer, touch the kitchen timer again or open the door of the appliance. The next thing I want to talk about is operating the ventilation van. The ventilation fan circulates the air from the heated areas. So with the vent, the vent features moves steam and other cooking vapors from the cooking surface of the range below the microwave oven. So if you're cooking below, it will remove the steam and other cooking vapors. You can set the ventilation fan to four different vent speeds. Set the vent feature by touching vent high slash low. The ventilation symbol will light up on the display. So for with the vent level, you touch the vent high low key. You do it once, it will be on level four, which is high. You press it twice, it will be at three. You press it three times, it will be at vent level two. Four times at vent level one and Five times it will be off. All right, so turning the surface light on or off. Now, this is a feature if you need to see your food, if you're cooking and you want uh, that extra light to see uh, your food while you're cooking on the range below, uh, you might want to turn on the surface light, all right, or turn it off if you don't need it anymore. The appliance is equipped with a cooking surface light. To light the surface underneath the appliance, like I said, with the light key, you can set two brightness levels. Touch the light key once, and the brightness level is high. Touch the light key twice, and the brightness level is low. Touch the light key three times, and it is off. Next, turning the turntable on or off. For best cooking results, leave the turntable on. It can be turned off for large dishes. To turn the turntable off, touch turntable on off once. The symbol and off lights, the symbol and off lights up briefly. Touch the key again to turn the turntable on. The symbol and on lights up briefly. All right, so now we're going to talk about just basic operating of the microwave other than the kitchen timer, lights, and ventilation fan. We're going to talk about how to operate this. Now, operating the microwave, the appliance must be turned off. Okay, so it can't be running while you're operating the microwave. All right, so first, enter the desired cooking duration with the number keys, which are 
below on the panel. The timer display will, in, will fill in from right to left. For example, to set the microwave cooking time of 20 minutes and 30 seconds, enter the numbers 2030. Start is blinking. Next, you can start the microwave operation with the default power level of 10 by touching either touching start, enter, or you can adjust the power level. Touch power level. The default power level, PL10, is blinking. The segments in the bar underneath the number display also indicate the power level. Enter the desired power level using the number keys. PL and the selected power level and start are blinking in the display. Touch start enter to start the microwave operation. The microwave timer will start to count down. The microwave timer can be changed during operation by touching plus, neg plus 30 seconds. The power level can be changed during operation. To display the set power level, touch power level. Once the microwave time has run out, four beeps will sound. The appliance turns off and the clock is displayed. Opening appliance door during operation. Opening the appliance door during operation will interrupt the current mode. Close the appliance door and then touch start enter to resume operation. Cancel operation. Touch clear off to cancel the active open to cancel the active oven mode. The appliance turns off and the clock is displayed. The cooling fans may continue to run for a while and then switch off automatically. Microwave power levels. The 10 power levels available with this microwave will help you to adjust to the power output best suited for the food type you are preparing. As with any food, preparation in the microwave. It is best to follow the microwave instructions that are printed on the food packaging. The table below provides suggested uh, levels for various types of food that could be prepared in the microwave. All right, so those are basic instructions for operating. Let's talk about other things such as adding cook time. There is a plus 30 seconds. This time saving feature will let you quickly add 30 seconds to any cook time. Plus 30 seconds will also start the microwave with 30 seconds at 100% power level. Each time you touch the plus 30 seconds key, 30 seconds will be added to the cook time. There's also an auto defrost feature. With the auto defrost feature, you can defrost three types of food by entering, in, by entering the weight. The ideal defrost time will be calculated by the program. Setting the defrost. Touch auto defrost once. Defrost 1 and start are blinking and the symbol lights up in the display. Touch auto defrost repeatedly until the desired program number is shown in the display. Check the menu label at the bottom of the oven cavity or program the table below. The touch, touch start enter, uh, zero pounds is blinking in the display. Enter the weight of the food by using the number keys. Touch start enter to start the program. When auto defrost is finished, Four beeps will sound. The appliance turns off and the clock is displayed. Note, a beep sound during defrosting for all food programs to turn food over or separate pieces. Opening appliance door during operation. 
When doing that, opening the appliance door during operation will interrupt the current mode. Close the appliance door and then touch Start Enter to resume operation. To cancel operation, touch Clear Off to cancel the active oven mode. The appliance turns off and the clock is displayed. The cooling fans may continue to run for a while and then switch off automatically. There are a couple of auto defrost programs. Program 1 is Defrost 1, and the food, ground meat, the weight range from 0.5 to 3 pounds. Defrost 2, meat pieces for example, like such as steak and chops, weight range from 0.5 to 3 pounds. Defrost 3, poultry pieces, 0.5 pounds to 3 pounds. Let's talk about the sensor reheat. The sensor reheat feature lets you reheat dinner plates or casseroles 8 to 12 ounces for your cooking convenience. Setting sensor reheat. Touch sensor reheat once. SR1 and start are blinking in the display. Touch the sensor reheat repeatedly until the desired program number is shown in the display. Check the menu label at the bottom of the oven cavity or see program table. Touch start enter to start sensor reheat mode. The appliance starts sensing. Sense lights up in the display. The microwave is operating during sensing. When sensing is complete, two short beeps will sound and the calculated cook time will start to count down. Once sensor reheat is finished, four beeps will sound. The appliance turns off and the clock is displayed. Let's talk about sensor cook. Sensor cook allows you to cook many of your favorite foods without selecting cooking times and power levels. The microwave oven automatically determines the required cooking time for each food item. For best results for cooking by sensor, follow these recommendations. Food cooked with the sensor system should start from normal storage temperature. Turntable tray, glass tray outside of the container should be dry. Foods should always be covered loosely with microwavable plastic wrap, wax paper, or lid. Do not open the door or touch clear off key during sensing time. When sensing time is over, the oven beeps twice and the remaining cooking time will appear in the display. At this time, you can open the door to stir and turn or rearrange the food. Setting the sensor cook, touch sensor cook once, SC1 and start are blinking. Touch sensor cook repeatedly until the desired program number is shown in the display. Touch start enter to start sensor cook mode. Sense lights up in the display and the appliance starts sensing. When sensing is complete, two short beeps will sound and the calculated cook time will start to count down. Once sensor cook is finished, four beeps will sound, the appliance turns off and the cook and the clock is displayed. Panel Lock The panel lock feature is very useful when cleaning the control panel. The lock will prevent accidental programming when wiping the control panel. To activate the panel lock, touch and hold clear off for more than three seconds. The symbol lights up in the display. A double beep sounds. To deactivate the panel lock, Touch the hold clear off for more than three seconds. The symbol disappears from the display. The display is unlocked. Settings. Let's talk about the, the following. The following basic settings of your appliance can be adjusted to your personal preferences. 
the display SND, the key sounds on off. One is on, two is off. Touch settings once. For the clock, clock display and standby mode on and off. One on, two off. 